I'm sorry. I just need y'all to see this eyeshadow and these lashes. I'm so proud of myself. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for tuning in. My name is Barbara, and today I am doing this look for you guys using the Queen of Hearts palette. I showed that I just picked this up in a haul recently. I absolutely love how this look turned out, and a lot of the products that I use today are new, so I can't wait for you guys to see the video and see how it all came together. Before we get into it, if you're new here, Thanks for clicking on my video and while you're here, go ahead and join the family. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload twice a week. I film hauls, tutorials, reviews, and I sprinkle in a little fitness as well. So if that's what you're into, you're going to love this channel. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. For primer today, I'm starting off with the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I showed this in a haul. I got this in a little kit of some of Tatcha's stuff and I had been wanting to try it. This is the reason I got the kit basically. Anxious to see how this does on my pores. And then I'm also going to use my Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. This is what this looks like. I've shown this to you guys before, but I had never used it on camera. So I'm just going to pat that in under the eye. I love the cooling sensation that this gives. It also kind of helps act as a primer to keep from your concealer from creasing. So while we let those sit, I'm going to start with my eyes, which I also realized I have been liking to do because... It helps with my forehead wrinkles. So all the eyebrow moving I do to get my eyeshadow looks will not crease my foundation. So for eyeshadow primer today, if I can open this, I am using something I have not used in a while. This is the MAC Paint Pot in Lay and Low. So everybody knows what these look like. This is brand new. I've had this for years. I used to only use this and then I just got into wanting to try new stuff and I forgot about it but I absolutely like this is a staple for a lot of makeup artists. This dries down pretty well by itself so I don't feel the need to really set it but I will put a light light layer of powder just to help with the blending of the eyeshadows. So to get into our eyeshadow look today, I was going back and forth between wanting to play in my Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction palette, which I have not used on camera yet. I'm pretty sure we're going to do Queen of Hearts and we're not going to do a red look. I'm going to try to do something else, but we'll see how it turns out. Like I told y'all, I never know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with Royal Prerogative which is this shade here, nice, pretty transition shade, and put that in my crease. It's actually coming off a little darker than I thought it would. It looks light in the pan. And then next I'm gonna take Duchess, which is the darker brown, and I'm also gonna put that in the crease but I'm gonna use a smaller brush and I'm gonna go a little lower we're just building up the crease and the outer V right now Because I have my Pat McGrath palette here in front of me, I want to deepen up my outer V a little more and kind of have something that'll mesh with these shades. So I'm actually going to take, I think it's, I don't have the shade names, but it's this deep purple. It looks really dark, but it's actually a purple. We're going to put that to help build up the crease more and I'm using the same brush.
This color is really dark. This is going to be dark enough for sure. Then I'm going to go back around the edges and back in the Queen of Hearts palette. And I'm going to go around the edges with Duchess. I just want to give that a little bit more of a blown out effect and not have such a harsh line from the Pat McGrath color. All right, so I've got that built up to where I want it. And now I'm going to go in, I'm going to do a little smokier today. I'm going to go in with Deep Throne, which is this really pretty brown shimmer. And I'm going to take it, I'm going to start on a brush. I'm just going to pack that on the lid. That is pretty. A little smoky, but not too much. Let me see if this looks any different with my finger. No brush. I see it a little bit more, but the brush did a good job. I don't see any fallout yet, which is really, really good. I kind of want to cool this off a little bit. So I'm going to take Royal Highness, which is this shade here. And I am going to put that on top on the inner corner. I'm going to put that on top of all of it. <laughs> That's the look. Let's see how it applies with my finger. Definitely get more payoff like that. I'm going to take a little bit of Noble Woman, this shade here, and just go on the outer V towards the darker shade. Ooh. Okay, that's a lot more color payoff than I expected. That came out the gate swinging. I was not expecting that much color payoff at all. And now I'm just gonna go back with the purple shade from the Pat McGrath palette and just blend in with the red since we lost a little bit of that <laughs> that red is like no i'm here to stay you're not blending me out i do have a little tiny bit of fallout from the red so now we're going to go into the face. I'm debating on what foundation I want to use. I am going to color correct today because somebody has been picking at their face. But I'm debating between using the Shiseido Synchro Skin and a drugstore foundation, the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid, which I have not used before. I'm gonna go ahead and try the Maybelline since I haven't used that one yet. I know I love the Shiseido, so why not try something new? So I'm gonna start off with a pump. This is what the foundation looks like. Got a little bit of runniness. This shade is 120 Caramel. Definitely like this shade. To me, this is a neutral. All right, so this is one layer. Not bad coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put another layer. I'm going to let this sit for a second and I'm going to put another layer to see how it builds up. All right, so we're applying the second layer. And as you can see, this does build up says medium coverage with a radiant finish well we're gonna build this up to full because that's what we want today 
but this is two layers and I definitely look radiant so claims I agree for concealer I'm going in with the Kylie skin concealer in the shade sesame I did show you guys this in my last haul and I told you I was bringing it back because I did not like the color I got granola before this shade is lighter also more pink with correct and darkness and at first when I opened it I was like no nah, this is not right either because I just feel like the way these swatch and the way they look and maybe I'm tripping I don't know but I don't feel like that looks like the same color so that's what's kind of getting me this is definitely full coverage I definitely feel like I can tell this helps to smooth out my pores too because I notice a lot of times when I do my concealer and then I look at my nose you can still see my pores through the concealer and I hate that and I don't see that on my nose right now so but I definitely like how this concealer looks and that is very brightening to set my face I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs finish line perfecting coconut setting powder I got this in one of my kits that I hauled from Sephora so I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just going to set under my eyes with this and make sure to get in the corners and then of course also down the bridge of my nose to set the concealer yeah I definitely like how that's sitting on my skin and then set the rest of my face I'm gonna use my Mac mineralized skin finish in dark golden I'm just gonna take my elf powder brush and just lightly go over the rest of my face and then I am excited about these for contour I have the Nabla skin bronzing powders and I showed you these in my last haul so this one is soft revenge this one is profile I'm gonna take the cooler one and I'm gonna see how that applies as a contour you can see it it's not too dark but it is definitely a cooler tone and I knew it was gonna be a little bit lighter than the other one in terms of color payoff you all know that is not enough for me though this will be good for my nose or it'll be too much <laughs> I think this is good though yeah I definitely like more for my cheeks though so I'm gonna see how profile looks I know it's more of a bronzer but yeah I like that one better I think it's also just because I'm so used to using matte products and this one is definitely not matte at all they have a slight sheen to them they're not shimmery but you can see the dimension it's just not the stark matte shade that I'm used to so not bad just different I'm gonna take a little bit of my Marc Jacobs powder and I'm actually gonna use that just to carve out my cheeks a little bit more and we're gonna let that sit for blush I am going to use the Color Rain times Power My Day One, which I'm not sure if I used this before or not, but we're going to use it anyway. It has this deep berry shade and then this highlighter that looks very pigmented. And it is. Oh, yeah, that is a lot of color. Ooh. Okay, blush queen. Oh my god. All right. We got to calm that down some. I'll go back over <laughs> with my powder. So now we'll see what the highlighter looks like. And 
It's almost like a bronze gold as opposed to like a rose gold. It's definitely deeper. Has a little bit of a rose sheen kind of to it. Does that make sense? But it is blinding. And then, like I said, I'm going to go back with my powder brush and just kind of try to tamper down a little bit of the blush. Just in the front, though, because I like when I turn my head for you to be able to see all of it. And that's just my preference. To finish up my bottom lash line, I'm just going to take my pencil brush and I'm going to take the purplish shade from Pat McGrath. And I'm going to start and work that on the outer part. Kind of tie all that together. And then from the Queen of Hearts palette, I'm going to take Dethrone, which is the shimmery shade. And then for my inner corner, I'm going to go back with Royal Highness and just pop that right there. I was gonna stop there, but I can't because I want to use this red. I wanna tie it in together. So I'm gonna take Noble Woman, which is that shimmery red, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that just, just a little bit, just to kind of tie everything together. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but I can and I like it to do my liner I'm just gonna use my balm swing liner and I'm gonna use that to draw my wings but for my liner on my lid I have the kiss it's the lash glue liner in black I'm gonna use that on my actual lid to help get my lashes on so I'm gonna do this really fast and fast forward through it and then I'll come back with the liner and the lash glue by Kiss. Okay, for lashes, I'm going to attempt to put on these Ardell. They're the Mega Volume 259s. I showed these in my last haul. I hope they don't overtake the eye look. We'll see, but I'm going to try to get these on I've been using this liner and I absolutely love it. Insane what a difference it makes and how much easier it is. But these lashes are bigger than what I've been putting on. So I don't know if it's going to work. But let's see. Only thing is, is it says on the instructions that you're supposed to put this on before, like you're not supposed to have makeup on already, but I mean, who, how, how is that even possible? And you don't have to let it dry completely, so I'm hurrying up and putting my mascara on to help my lashes blend in more, because I didn't do that yet. Voila. Let me find out I'm about to become a lash queen. These are so pretty. Look at the difference. I know lashes make a big difference, but oh man. I'm gonna do the other one off camera and I'll be back. That was fast. That makes me feel like a pro. I have never in my life put lashes on that fast. I like this Monsieur Big mascara from my top lashes but I'm playing with fire trying to put this at the bottom because it always ends up touching underneath my eye and it smudges so trying to be extra careful I'm sorry I just need y'all to see this eyeshadow and these lashes I'm so proud of myself Okay, for lips, we have a couple options. I kind of want to do something dark, like just super all of this vamp. And I have this Lorac Pro Liquid Lipstick in the shade Black Cherry. This is dark. 
I'm going big or going home. So I'm going to line my lips with, yeah, we're going to go with Mac Chestnut. And now I'm going to go in with the Lorac, which is darker than this. I probably should have used Night Moth, but that is dark. That is super dark. That is the darkest lip we've had on this channel, folks. I almost feel like this needs a gloss on top because my lips are about to be super dry. Y'all, this color is so dark. I hope it wears well because you know how sometimes when you wear a dark color and it starts fading right here and gives you that butthole lip? I hope this does not do that. But I am done with this look. This eyeshadow look, these lashes serving this lip, honey. Look, look, what are we talking about? Wow. This I can officially say is like a winter cool tone look. Absolutely love it. That palette is so bomb and I am so glad that I finally picked it up. This is it for the final look guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and comment below. Tell me what you think. Is this lip, does this lip go? Is this lip fire? Let me know what y'all think. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you're new to my channel, again, my name is Barbara and I'd love to have you join the family. So hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss an upload. I upload twice a week and I can't wait to see you guys next time. See you soon. Bye.